What's up guys, my name is ESO and in today's episode of Metro Exodus we're going to be finding a secret NPC. But this episode actually starts with me waking up from my sleep to find that we've been ambushed by some bandits. And don't forget guys, give the video a like if you do enjoy it. Look, he's waking up. Oh, who's this? Hey, don't get all tense here. If we wanted you dead, you'd wake up dead already. No two ways about that, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah! So don't you worry, pal. Sao wants to make you offer, so listen. <laughs> so, here we meet again. Did you forget how you knocked me out back then? I sure remember. My head still hurts, you see? <laughs> I also remember that you didn't kill me when you could. So here you go. Eight bullets in the cylinder, you see. Cost me two tons of water, so be gentle with it. But that was just foreplay. Time for business. I figure you'd want to know why I rushed you then. Do you know our Baron? Well, I basically had him on a plate already, you see? Hmm. I spent five years sucking up to him and roughing up the damn locals for him. I even got his custom van for that service. Ah, don't sweat it. <laughs> you can keep it. I have more than one car. <laughs> so, to cut to the chase, I almost lost that crazy witch on his ass. She was supposed to whack him, and I had all the preparations in place. Rast, vach, tiri, tamki, you see? And that's the moment you guys choose to arrive at. Train and all. The Baron, with his paranoia, immediately decides that you are a new gang from the West. How to get him specifically. And all my planning goes to the shitter. Lock all the doors, triple the guards, the whole shebang. That girl lost any chance of getting close enough to him. But now I think this might even be for the better. <laughs> Besides, you've just helped that girl out of the lighthouse. So now Baron thinks you people are signing the locals up to finish attacking him. In any case, I'll be frank. Neither you nor I are interested in Baron staying alive. So I say, whack him for good. You seem to be up to the task. I can still feel the thrashing you gave me. <laughs> Consider the gun and the car in advance payment. If you do take Baron out, I'll make sure none of the boys take chasing you too seriously. Then we'll be even. If you fuck up, no skin off my back either. I'll just save the Baron from the evil gang out to get him. And he'll crown me by his own hand. <laughs> So, think about it. You still have time. Very well. So, we have an option now to kill the Baron, and this guy's going to replace him, making our life easier in the process. And genuinely, I'm not so sure what the correct moral decision is. Because we spared this guy, but is he going to be doing any better by not? <laughs> I mean, this gun that he's like left here, what even is it? It's like a revolver pistol. I think I've already got it though, so... Hey, put that gun away. We're all friends here. Ugh, I wish everybody was so reasonable. I'm just gonna drop it down. Oh, they're actually aiming their guns at me because I, I raised my weapon when I picked it up. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't stay out in these hideouts anymore. They're <laughs> clearly not safe. I'm genuinely not so sure what to do about that, but let's head off and not kill anyone. Hey. Leaving already. Yes, I am leaving. Of course I am. You finished your conversation. There's no yes or no option. So, that's my custom car, apparently. I mean, it doesn't look that impressive, but there it is. Alright, guys. So, we've come over to the south of the map. Just north of where our base camp is. There's a question mark just here. Where this giant ship is next to the geezers. You guys... You can see on the map where this is just there near all those tire rocky looking formations. So I wanted to get up to the top of this place because it was a question mark location so clearly there's some kind of story here or something to explore. 
I don't want to leave anything unfinished in this game. I don't want to miss... Oh, God! Are you kidding me? It's a dark... Okay, great. Yeah, I've just properly jumped into this place now. Can't get through there, so clearly we're taking the ladder up. Oh, boy. It's going to be dark in here and maze-like, isn't it? Oh, there's spiders. Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Look at them all. I can see them in the distance. I failed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Jesus Christ. What have I done? Why did I put myself in this situation? Oh, oh, what's that? Jesus, I hate these things. Die. Come on, die. Die to my flame. Oh, get away from me. Kill it. Wreck some. Something keeps firing stuff at me. Okay, it's dead. Oh Jesus Christ, it's close. Get wrecked. I think we've killed two of them. Oh, there's something else down there. Oh, they're both firing shit. Stop firing your crap at me, man. Alright, let's try and get up this ladder and get out of this area. I don't even want to look around down there. Oh, it's behind me. Can it get up here? I don't know. Okay, it's, it's light up here, so it should be fine. Jesus Christ, I do not want to go back down there. That's horrendous. There's a radio here, and there's also a tape. So listen to this story. It all happened so fast. We didn't even have time to abort and load. Storm wasn't even that strong at first, but uh, then it picked up. Boy, did it pick up. We started adding more mooring lines, but then the gangway got torn off. It kind of died down by the morning, but the comms were off. And then while we were running about, looking at the damage, the water kind of ebbed down, sandbanks all over the place. Well, as soon as we cast away, we ran aground. Big time. Tried freeing ourselves and got gouged on the rocks. Badly. The only good thing was that there was not enough water left to sink you. And the comms were still off, and it wouldn't be much use anyways. No tug could get us out now. Looks like we're all alone here. And there's more oil spilled around us than water now. Hmm. So he must have been on the boat when the nukes went off, and that was the storm. Obviously ended up here. There's nothing on the air. Nothing to do. Oh, there's a hermit lives here. I wonder who these newcomers are. Must be a fun gang if they manage to piss him off like this. <laughs> I wonder if he's friendly. Not that he's not permanently pissed every day regardless, shouting. Oh fuck, don't, don't shoot! Don't shoot, man! It's alright, bro. Wait a minute. Are you one of... Hey, uh, look, put that gun away, will you? The spiders won't ever get in here, don't you worry. Thanks for putting it away. So where was I? Wait a minute. Are you one of the newcomers? The ones with the train? But I've been dead. Hey, hey, come on in. Make yourself at home, brother. I don't get many guests with all the spiders around. They packed the hold full of the Baron's Frankie's bones already. <laughs> you must be real lucky to have gotten here in one piece. When I had to run from the gang, I hid here, and spent ages watching the damn critters. I thought I was a goner, but it turned out they were afraid of light. So I settled here for good. Now I make my living by collecting the guns and gear from the idiots the spiders catch. And <laughs> they don't mind. And in my free time, I just scan the radio. 
So I know pretty much everything that's going on around these parts. These bandits blabber about everything on air. Then again, there's nobody to eavesdrop. Slaves don't have radios. So, as soon as they noticed your train, the Baron got all his people running around in circles. He, he thinks you're here to take him out. <laughs> now, you tell me if that Baron is all right upstairs. Certainly looks completely insane to me. A classic case of persecution complex and the delusions of grandeur. <laughs> Say someone did come to take him out. Real classy, like driving a, a fucking train. Fine. Let's give him that. But why would they stop at the old station then, huh? They could stop the train right at the castle gate and have at him. But sure. logical thinking is not among Baron's faults. He's too grand for that now, huh? <laughs> Which will turn out to be his undoing in the end, I think. I will say, though, that if you really do take that Baron bastard out, the whole desert will be kissing your footprints until the end of days. Not to mention my personal thanks. <laughs> I've been ranting for too long. Have some rest. Use the workbench if you like. In general, make yourself home, as I said. <laughs> I'll uh, stay on the radio in the meantime. That's so cool. That's cool. That's really interesting. So it's kind of actually made up my mind about the Baron being a tyrant because we've heard it from this hermit who has... Kind of like a perspective irrelevant of like a you gave some biased opinion. A kicking at the lighthouse, didn't you? Indeed. Eh? Well deserved and timely. Right, there we go. We're all done. I just made some med kits basically and uh, repaired my gas mask. And <sighs> no, there's a note talking. here. So let's have a look at this note. Diary fragments. You can easily get used to the sound of these gases. They're not really that loud. When I made some earplugs, I started sleeping like a baby. The main advantage of the place is that none of the Baron's dogs would even think of coming here. Compensates for a lot in the eyes. Just in case though, I finished installing a zip line in the morning. Having a quick escape route never hurts. He's talking about the scorpions protecting him there. Got up to take a leak tonight, heard something scratching the metal somewhere down in the hold. Took my gun out and went there, but only saw a scamper behind the containers. A damn spider. And I had only just made myself at home here. These pests will ruin the place. I'll try and burn their asses out tonight before they multiply. They are tough to kill with bullets, but at least they hate light. If you manage to get the bastards in a lit spot, it has nowhere to run, it dies right there. Very useful information that I wish I knew earlier. There was some news on the radio. All right. Source van got stolen. And that guy is not your average mook. So he had the car. I feel like he's just reason. telling me everything that's already happened, and obviously we've lived it, so we don't need to know. So this is generator here, the ship control panels. And this is a rope ladder that I can push down. That's sick. I love that animation. So now I can get back up here whenever I like and use it as a safe house. There's also a ladder going down there, and one going up to the top. So let's take this. This must be a little escape route, actually. Yeah, here we are. That takes me all the way down to the bottom. It's obviously, we've got to use the zip line when it's there, guys. Come on. Whee! I don't think I'll ever bother coming down here, but... Uh... Oh, he's got two zip lines to get down. Wow, that's cute, isn't it? I don't think there is everything at the bottom there. But there's nowhere off apart from the zip line, so let's take it. I'm glad I came here. That kind of like expanded my sense of the story a little bit, and we found like this secret little NPC hidden away. You see, guys, it pays to explore, and I hope these geezers don't explore once explode while I'm standing next to them. I took my van over here because there was a um, a demon nearby, so I just thought it'd be safer to drive. Let's drive on now to the next location. Look at all these zombies on the road ahead, guys. Prepare yourself. Boom. Oh, he kind of jumped on my car there. Don't know if that's good or bad. You, sir, you can get wrecked. And you can get wrecked. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, okay. I need to stop around here. It's the next location, guys, is that boat right ahead. So let's cross the river, actually.
uh, and the next river, and we'll just park on the right here. Just here. Hopefully this is... Oh, there's actually a sandstorm. This is perfect. Hopefully there's no demons around here. Fingers crossed. So this is apparently the boat that Anna told us about, uh, and it's where they were keeping the prisoners. And there's just been a sandstorm, which is kind of good and bad, because it means I can't see them and they can't see me, because I'd like to know where they are before I make a move on this place, but we're just going to approach from this side right now. I can see all these oil pumps here. So we want to be careful here because there are prisoners. So, in fact, I'd like to do it stealthily. If we can. Oh boy, are you kidding? I don't want any more of these guys coming over right now. I want to get inside this location if I can. Alright, I just got a checkpoint, so I think that's one of the Baron's cars there. So we should start to be careful at this point. Uh, this is a prison van actually, isn't it? So that'll be what's going on here. So there's a giant hangar door there, but if we come round further to the side, some of the ship's actually falling away here. It looks like I can, I can get in. There's no one outside at all. light just looks so good. Someone recommended in the comment section that you should play Metro without a HUD, and I thought that was a sick idea. I'm just sorry. I haven't done that yet. Let's put on night vision on. I want to try this, guys. I want to try to take both of them out. What the fuck is it? Oh, yes. That is possible then, apparently. What is that shotgun? That looks insane. It's like a free chamber one, but with a nice big stop. This guy had a double barreled one. Turn that light off now. We probably could have snuck past these guys. They were thugs, so it doesn't really matter if we take them out, I don't think. I'm starting to question what what is like how I'm going to get the good ending and how I'm going to get the bad ending. I kind of like not knowing and just trying to be a good person and do my best. You know? I think that's quite an interesting way of playing a game without following any kind of guide to how to get the right ending. If that makes sense. Take it's so dark in here. Maybe I'll put these back on there. There was a exit this way. This takes me back outside. I can walk along the outside of this place, I think. Oh, there's a broken lock here. Okay, so that must be the exit, but I can't see the lock. So clearly, you can't exit from this side. God, this is a rusty door. Do I not just open that? This is the rustiest ship I've ever seen in my life. I was fucking I sure I thought I'm fucking finished, finished. master. Shadow, he might have seen me. Might have spotted me. This place is a complete rust bucket, though. Where's that ladder go? I swear to God, I'm missing these ladders and whatnot. So many control panels. Shit, there definitely was something right around here. You didn't see anything, my friend. Alright, let's see if we can sneak along the edge here. My aim here is to free all these prisoners. 
Look, they've got people hanging over the fire there or something. It's crazy. This is the... I think they just locked the gates to the prison. Let's try and take this guy out. No one can see this guy, so if I take him out, we're good. Whereas if I take that guy out down there on the bridge, I feel like everyone can see that. Yeah, shit. I just love it here. This place totally rocks. Yeah. Right now, I think if I take this guy out, everyone's gonna hear and see it, so. Let's see if this it's is the light key. switches for everything. Okay, great, perfect. So, you think the payout this time will be worse than last year's? We're not going to get five tons of water for the Oh, it's not accurate enough. They have no idea where I am. There's a guy just down there as well. I can see him, but guys, he's fucking dead. Let's try and jump over here. I think there's another guy over there. I can't really see him, though. Let's drop down this ladder. Just flank this guy who's looking over there right now. He's, yeah, there he is. There's another guy over there, so let's continue down this path. This has gone so well, I can't believe we've absolutely stealthed it here. Minimizing prison casualties. Get wrecked. Boom. What is going? Oh wow, there's a new massive gas mask update there. Sounds like there's another guy upstairs, but I don't know. Your stuff is mine. Wow, how many weapons do you guys have? Jesus. Take that too, thank you. Hey, quit hiding, you little bitch. Come out and let me call to buy that crowd. Oh, there's one. Pop. Right, so I think the only way we can get in this room is through this door with a blinking light. Just here. Let's have a go. Creaky creak. Oh boy. Wow. He hasn't seen me yet. Oh man. Jesus. Let me get a knife out here. Take that guy out first. Boom. I need a stealthy one there. I'm here. Oh boy! Run, 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 run. That's not good. That is not good. I don't have any Molotovs, I have a grenade. I pinned him down! Oh! Oh, you killed me instantly. I think I might have damaged myself with that grenade, to be honest. Oh, okay, I can knock him out if I'm really quick. All right, I'll take it. Give me that ammo. How did this guy die? How? how okay, somehow they both died. Don't understand that. All right, let's go up here. God, I was really struggling with that guy. It was super hard to get. I had to, like, try some different methods to actually get him. Oh, hello there. Who's this, then? Why are you looking there? Is he the last guy? I believe he could have been. Oh, what's that? That's a new type of pistol. Hmm. I'm going to deconstruct it for now, and we can upgrade later. There we go. I would have thought that would release all the prison cages, but I could be wrong. 
Aha, this lever will release them all. Okay. Pretty sure this is the first dead female raider I've seen. It could have been that guy's uh, wife that the band was talking about on the radio. They all took advantage of. Alright. Let's go upstairs again. And now we can free the prisoners. Oh, there's a journal here. One sec. Let's have a read. Shopping list. Had a talk with the boys from south. They want to buy strong slaves. Five. A slave that can fight well for a fighting pit. Maybe two. Good house slave. A big angry dog for a guard. A slave that can read and write and count too to keep books. Okay, great. Bit sad, isn't it? Alright, let's uh, open up the prison cells. Now everyone's dead. They can be killed. Freedom! 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 Yes! The mother of Oh wow, this is my little escape route here. Awesome. We can open up this door for everyone? Lovely. Can I talk to anyone? Or no? There we go. So we freed all the prisoners. We're all good. We've done our good thing for today. Let me charge my um, my light. So the next location on the map, guys, is that question mark directly southwest over there. It looks like quite a um, difficult compound to get to. But I'm gonna latch from here, and we're just gonna walk up the hill there. And get there. I think we did pretty well stealthing that one, to be honest. I'm happy with how it went. So let's check out this next area. Let's have a look on the map. We are not very close, actually. What is this area, then? Listen seems... up, everyone. The Baron is about to speak. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. Snout, what is going on with the airfield? The boys are saying it's crawling with freaks. How long has it been since I told you to clear it out and collect all the usable stuff? Especially the guns. Why the fuck is a whole bunch of good gear going to waste? Oh, there's a journal entry here. Charred note. Rasp, I'm at the airport. The corporal didn't bullshit us. My slaves just dug the hangar entrance up and you must see it. It's chock full of pre-war shit. The old goat was right on the money. It really does look like the flyboys would just dump all the stuff they didn't need and avoid us through the proper procedure. They were fucking wasteful before the war, that's for sure. Anyhow, not a word to anyone. Come at night, take your slaves and cars quietly with the lights off so that not even a demon could notice your asses. Get over here. We must get all the best stuff out before the others catch wind of this. They'd just start fighting over it and the Baron would claim it all for himself anyway. So we take what we can while we can. Hide it and then pretend we know nothing. Don't worry about that corporal. I shot him and dumped his ass into a mutant lair. This drunk wouldn't have squealed on us for sure. It's bad enough that I don't know if he told anybody else before I got to him. Burn the note. Shit that you were put in charge of the place. You short on hands, you can't handle the responsibility? Okay, just tell me so. But if you think you can do it, produce the result. Otherwise, it might be taken as you disrespecting me. And now you can hear the Baron banging on about how he wanted everyone to scout out the airport and take all the useful stuff. But clearly, his gang is not very loyal to him. Man, look at that view. You can see the crane which we came from last episode. And that's the oil rig we're going to be taking over later. Uh, probably next episode. After we've continued to dismantle everything on this bridge. But um, it seems... I was thinking maybe I'd find another NPC here. But I don't think there's anyone left. Alright guys, let's have a quick look at the map again. As you can see southwest of us still that location right there looks like a giant prison as well that's where we got to go looks like there's some mutant nests right out the front as well and i actually can't see anyone on guard up there the whole place looks deserted right now oh jesus Okay, only one of them spotted me, so that's good. 
got my silencer, so all is well in the world. Oh, Jesus, there's a spike. Oh, God, I hate that so much. Let's have a climb up here. This whole post could actually be abandoned. I uh, just want to have a little browse around before we investigate any further. Yeah, this guy's dead here. No idea what happened here, man. Makes me think everything's overrun by mutants. That control tower potentially could have another person in. Maybe someone else keeping watch. The rest of the place, there's a helicopter in the middle of that airfield though. Looks deserted. Alright, let's go back down and just start investigating everything. I'm going to take my time. Or am I? Nah, I'm just going to run over there. Forget that. It's a quick save, just in case. Right. Get my shotgun out. There is a helicopter there, so I want to quickly have a look and scavenge it. There's also a hangar there. Literally nothing in this helicopter. There's a flag here which is white with a skull on it, which kind of means to me surrender, so... Oh god. Not necessarily the Baron's men here. We still need to check out that upgrade that we got for the Spartan helmet. Everyone is dead. Maybe they've died of dehydration or something else, I don't know. Who knows? Hello? What's that? Okay, this is whatever killed them. Oh yeah, here we go. Three shotgun shells is all it's I can hear another one. Oh, geez. there is another one. Boom. Right, I think we're good. I think I've killed most of them. Thank God for shotguns, guys. Look at all that. Is that your soul? The fucker's asking for it. And after being told everything, too. Hey, soul! Calm the fuck out! <laughs> we came over to steal our shit. Who the fuck are you taking us for? Didn't we fucking tell you, motherfucker? That all the shit here is ours. And you're dead if we cut you here again. Well, you fucking had it coming. I think... Out, you bitch. We'll open your Let's put our gun down and walk out. See what happens here. Think we're good? Are we? Where the hell is he? I can't see him! What? There he is, people! Are we not cool? We're not cool. We're not cool. Okay, great. Fantastic. Oh, is that a grenade I hear? Fantastic. I'm dead. Right. Let's try just running out there. And hoping for the best. Oh, run away. How has this worked? How has this worked? How oh, Jesus. There's fucking zombies down here. Oh god. Well, that'll keep them busy. Can I get out? Where's... Th okay, there's a way up here. Perfect. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. I can hear them all. Keep running, keep running upstairs! Ah! Oh god! Jesus Christ, not good. That's not good. We're good, we're good. Come on, get faster. Oh, there's so many of them. Reload. I'm getting shot down by the guys outside as well as clearing dead. Oh, Jesus Christ. Behind me. Oh, God. I see him there. Do you see me, though? 
Okay, I've killed most of the mutants. I've killed most of them. Somehow, this plan has worked. Is there actually anything up here, though? They're still shooting me. God damn it. There's another staircase going up here. Let's have a look what else is here. Carries on going up. And now we're at the control tower. Which we can go inside. So what is this place then? Oh wow, is that that's an upgrade, another upgrade. But this time for my night vision goggles. Let's have a quick look at this stuff. We've got two different upgrades. One for the Spartan helmet. Armored glass. Okay, so reinforced helmet or armored glass. So either you have a gas mask that lasts longer and more resistant to damage or more armor, a heavy variant of the Spartan helmet. It employs more advanced composite materials as its base. Uh, increased ballistic protection. Or I think the armored glass is better. NVD amplifier, which we just picked up at the top. This night vision system combines two technologies, heat vision and visible light amplification. Such systems were only available to special forces before the war. So it makes it super easy to actually see other people, which is really, really useful, actually. Especially with night vision. I'm going to keep that on right now. Install that. Nice. Very nice. So, as you guys can see, the view up here is awesome. You can see the cr another crashed helicopter into this base here. There's also a way down to, to, down to the hangar where all those guys are bloody hanging out. I can't even move. Jesus. Okay, what I'm going to do is just sleep. <laughs> Does this actually work? You can see the enemies down there. <laughs> still... <laughs> On the bottom left, you can just see him still searching for me. Just like 24 hours straight, still searching. Still searching. Right, these guys are not leaving me alone, so I'm going to take them out right now. Come on, peep, peep, peep. Come on. You're dead. Boom. That guy is ridiculously accurate when really he's shooting me from the ground. There we go. God damn it. Okay, this last guy has surrendered. Great. That's good. That means I can now show you guys this audio tape. How long did we hold out in this desert for? With no purpose, no hope. <laughs> who are we supposed to protect? The locals who took just a few years to revert to this stone age? Then they came. Ex-military, ex-oil rig workers and ex-mobsters. Well, the latter were not so ex. These did have a purpose, an idea. I'm sure we laughed at them at first, playing gods. But then the notion of taking a shot at creating a semblance of order out of this chaos slowly sunk in. In the end, we all joined that flame-swallowing circus. Well, this world is new, so cut its new gods some slack. And guys, just so you know, you can find the long barrel for the shotgun on this weapon. I just took it off and did not record it. So make sure you grab that as well, because it literally gives you a lot of extra damage and accuracy, which... Oh, love it on the shotgun. Hey! What? He surrendered! Fine then. Don't surrender. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. As you can see, we found every location on the map and we've discovered everything, all the safe houses, and you can see the map there pretty much full up and complete. And we've done all of our, you know, good karma objectives for rescuing people and whatnot. So, the next area we want to go to is the main objective to finish off this area to basically capture the oil cart, uh, fill up the train and just head off and get out of here from the oil rig so that's going to be a big episode i assume but thank you so much for watching this episode guys hope you enjoyed it give the video a like if you did and i'll see you tomorrow in the next one goodbye have a great day